This is North Dakota Today. Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Welcome on into North Dakota Today. Thank you for joining us. My name is Ashlyn Hill. And I'm Jillian Trudeau. Oh, my goodness. It's Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Hump day, making it through the week. Yes, and it's been a sunny week with warmer it temperatures. Oh. Apologies if your yard is flooded. I understand it's not so great for everybody, but yeah. just the fact that it's warming up and there is sunshine when I leave work truly makes a difference in my day. Absolutely. <laughs> and even though like I know that um, our days were kind of getting longer anyway, but with the, like the newfound sun uh -huh. and newfound heat, uh -huh. it's just like I don't know, the days just feel much better that they're longer, yeah. you know? Yeah, Does that yeah, make yeah, sense? Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, the I agree. serotonin is just like immediately coming to my body. Yes, and then you realize, is it seasonal depression or just did I need the sunshine? Yeah, is or it like is a lack of vitamin thing? D? Did I just say the same thing? I'm not sure. <laughs> Either way, it's like, the fact that there's yeah. sunshine is definitely a mood booster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, of course, I feel like uh, maybe the lack of vitamin D could have been uh, affecting that, but I used to have one of those um, UV lights Yes. That would like help me um, just get that vitamin D or just yeah, like that you're supposed to like wake up to fake sun to have yeah. a natural mm -hmm. wake up time. Yep. Yes, I've I would heard do of that. Those. Yeah, and um, it kind of worked, I guess. I It broke. So <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I guess it was using it a little too much. It was, it was too cold. It yeah. froze and it cracked. Yeah, no kidding. Well, you know, we're in our way to spring, but we're thinking about summer. And mm. you guys, I had to be reminded that the Island Park pool will not be open this summer. That, you know, crushed my dreams. But. Yeah. It's for a great reason. It's because it's under construction. And this is the most recent update. So the construction budget has just gained an additional $1 million in the proposal for this glamorous makeover. Like, wow, who is that? VIP only at this point. <laughs> oh, the upgrade. So it's closed this summer through fall of 2024. So we have uh, a bit of time to wait, but it's slated to open in the spring summer of 2025. Uh, so the budget increased from 16 point, er, yeah, from 16.9 million up to 17.9 Ooh. million. City officials say that the additional money will offset inflationary construction cost while still allowing the pool to include all of those incredible amenities. So the original plan is now going to also include a timing system, a scoreboard, starting blocks, and deck shade structures. But this was the part that kills me, you guys. There's going to be a lazy river. <gasps> yes through all of those composite looks right there. A lazy river, a 50 meter competitive lap swimming okay. pool, diving platforms, and then a completely updated renovated pool house wow. as well. And this is so funny, Jillian and I, where we lived previously mm -hmm. to here in Fargo, we had a pools at our apartments. Yeah, yep, in Rapid City and also in Nebraska, so. Yeah, in Omaha, I had the yeah. most incredible pool in ground, and then it was a zero entry pool, so it was just slanted. You just walked into it like you're walking in the ocean. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. And okay, well you could just elegant. like post up. Yeah. Ooh. And then yeah. they had the chairs that were uh, like swiveled and contoured, so you could sit on the shallow part in the chair. <gasps> oh my Chef's gosh! Kiss. It was like you're in Mexico. <laughs> it was. It was so great, and you were in Nebraska. So think of that. You never knew. You <laughs> oh could never tell God. that you were just, you know, in a cornfield. Yeah. Uh, but so that was on my big wish list when I was trying mm -hmm. to find an apartment up here, and I was like, "There's nowhere with outdoor pools." And then I realized, well, you know, you spend one winter here, and you realize why there's no outdoor pools anywhere. <laughs> yeah. They would only because be salvageable for two months, literally. two weeks out of the summer. The upkeep would be insane. Yeah. Yeah. I miss my pool in Rapid City. It was just like, I don't know. Um, both of my apartments that I lived in in Rapid City both mm -hmm. had pools. Yeah. And like, it's just so nice to go out and like yes. not have to walk anywhere. I know um, mine had like a, it was kind of like a drop off and then like a little shallow area. Yeah. I don't know. Cause in Rapid City, it's very hilly, very, mm. um, lots of hills yeah. and stuff. So I don't know. It was really pretty. I miss that. Um, yeah, I guess we have lakes now. <laughs> yeah. We have that to look forward yeah. to. <laughs> Which, you know, I love a great lake, yeah. so that works out for me. Absolutely. But yeah, we just can't find our chlorinated pools close. Yeah. I'll have to find somewhere mm -hmm. else. Do you have any <laughs> pool recommendations? If you own a pool, I always make a joke all the time, but it's not a joke. I'm actually going to do this. I'm getting a kiddie pool to put in Jordan <laughs> Schreyer's yard. I say it as if I'm joking, but when I show up at his house, as soon as it gets 70 degrees... He'll, he won't be laughing. But <laughs> he won't be surprised. And then I took it upon myself to invite everybody else in the, in the newsroom this morning. I said, while we're chatting about it, you know, there will be a kiddie pool yard party at some point. Oh, my gosh. That would actually be so much fun. And That's I guarantee I Jordan would actually enjoy that. Yeah. But, you know, he, I'm just putting words into his he's mouth. He's going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you really enjoy this. <laughs> he locks his house. He locks the door. He's like, yeah, you can hang out, but, you know, just park in the driveway and don't bother me probably. <laughs> 
Oh, well, we'll make him some frozen margaritas. You know that that yes, always Yes, that, yep. that always That'll helps. That always helps. That'll get him. Well, anyway, yeah, you probably can have a frozen margarita at the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. toughest monster truck tour at the Alara Center, and it's coming up, you guys. It's in Grand Forks, and it's going to be on April 22nd. So that means what's coming up is the toughest monster truck tour ticket giveaway contest. So you can win tickets to the tour by going onto our website at valleynewslive.com, and you can sign up there. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun, you guys. It's coming up. Actually, at the end of this week, we'll be announcing the winners. I believe that we have a little video to show you. The Valvoline Tire One Toughest Monster Truck Tour returns to Alaris Center April 22nd, and Valley News Live wants to send you there. Go to valleynewslive.com and enter to win a family four-pack of tickets with big passes. Well, there we go. Monday, Monday. Sophia says she wants to go, by the way. So. Yeah. She was just like, is it okay if I want, like, <laughs> want tickets? I was like, yeah. No, that looks like a blast, Yeah, honestly. we're creating a fan base in studio as well as mm -hmm. with all of you at Yeah, home. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I, I got the chance to look at some of the pictures that um, the Toughest Monster Truck sent us. Yeah. And there was just so many really cool, like, action shots that they got of each yep. truck. They're just like vertical, horizontal. Yeah, scary. There's um, those, um, the bikers, the motorcycles yeah. that like go off in freestyle in the air. Mm -hmm. Insane. Mm -hmm. It's like a yeah. circus. Yeah, but scary, uh, but fun to watch. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I don't need to participate, but I'm happy to support you. Absolutely. <laughs> just secondhand adrenaline. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I think. Yeah, yeah. that's a good, good way to put it. Yeah, thank you. All right, well, we have a lot coming up mm -hmm. on today's show. So thank you so much for joining us and spending your Wednesday morning with us. We really appreciate it. Up first. Get out your recipe books. We've got Cooking with Cashway.